So uh, David says in one three three, um, he says, it, "It it is good and it's 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 a pleasant thing, uh, for the brethren to dwell in unity." Amen. So we believe that when he says brethren, he's talking about brothers and sisters uh, in Christ. Amen. Amen. That it is good and pleasant to be in unity. Hallelujah. He says it's like a, a precious oil upon the head of Aaron uh, that runs on his beards, running down to the edges of uh, his cats. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. He says it's like a, um, a, a morning dew of, 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 of the land of Haman that, uh, that, uh, that descended upon the mountains of Zion. Hallelujah. Because God has blessed a blessing there. God has commanded a blessing uh, in people that stay in unity as a church. Hallelujah. So we believe that the blessings of God is in this place. Hallelujah. I'm saying the blessing of God is in this place. Hallelujah. So we believe and we trust that as you come out of this place, even if you were feeling uneasy, uh, 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 you, you will come out of this place refreshed. Amen. Amen. All the, the oppressive spirit and depression uh, upon you will be lifted up. Hallelujah. Amen. Because there is a blessing of God when the brethren dwell in unity. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. So without wasting much of your time, um, we are going to pray. We are going to pray as, as, as we know as our custom that we, we, we start by thanking God because Thank we believe that everything that we are going through, everything that we are experiencing, everything that we see, everything that we test, we believe that is under the influence and the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. God is wonderful in our lives. God has commanded a blessing to us that in everything that we touch is turns to gold. Hallelujah. It's a command that was, that was commanded by God that can never be changed. Even the devil can argue that, but it's not going to work. Hallelujah. So we're going to thank God for these things. We're going to thank God for the blessings upon our lives, upon this world. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and pray this morning. Mantaliba salakrandoja ebregedoska antaliba hazo yandaliba aligaroja libra ante zakaido obrahande yakadaja liga supra antalima taye talamando opra ansuke telibra ade de mando jaligro on toza yakuzo opayande eprentoja lacro ozi hande parosa aide embro otoja kata pronto liga sukra atapa Lando la zuya radei de epre ento jata russo opa ya rico zalinko opanto legra anta mande lega sudai de mento jalakra apa paroso opa yende lekre opa taide lizo ombro odoja legra amanto zukrata oh father god we thank you this morning we thank you for everything that you have done the the blessing of god that you have commanded upon your people People. We thank you, Father God, the blessings of God upon this place, upon this service, upon every person. I call upon the name of the Lord. Rika parusha la kazua ante rekepe rudande rakata de doja la zoda ide manto rikuzo umbro toja kalanto zukra apalaka yande de rekete leke tozo lokataya. We thank you, Father God, your Spirit in this place. We thank you, the Holy Spirit in this place. We thank you the anointing of God upon this place. We thank you for what you are doing in this place. We thank you the grace and the mercy, the goodness of God upon our lives. We thank you all that which you have commanded upon this church. Razoya talaka zuke palanto rap. Doja linkremendo opra ato soko pa ha yandeli bo so proza do doji katala kata redo zola doji kata pro unto mazula kas kata ya telekro auto mandele de 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 jala pro unto zokra anta mandele garozo opa ya tala mande epeleke doska lega jala bronko tu oh my God we thank you. 
we thank you father god as we come before you as a church as we come in unity as we come in unity in this place we appreciate you father god we know for sure that you are in this place we thank you father god the commandment the commands of the blessing in this place in this service in every person that is praying this morning Father God, we thank you, Lord. We appreciate you, Father God, that you are in this place. We thank your spirit. We thank you for everything that you have spoken, the positive words that you have spoken before the foundations of this world concerning us, concerning every person in this place. No makarosa liga apalakatai lando roso palando opahande kelibra as kaliba hai rendo jaliga suka palakatai rande delibro odo so prokoto. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Spirit of the Living God, in this place. We thank you, the anointing of God. We thank you, the Word of God that will change our lives. We thank you, the wisdom of God. We thank you, the Spirit of understanding, the Spirit of wisdom upon our lives. We thank you to know you at this level. We thank you to know you at this level in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Razuka Talamando Zubrahande Ligahazo Jalamande Ebre. We thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name, we pray somebody. In Jesus' name, we pray somebody. We are still in the mood of prayer. Uh, there was a prayer, I think it was uh, given by Pastor FF. Uh, really, I want to repeat that prayer. Um, it's taken from Psalms, uh, one Psalms. Uh, 1 Samuel uh, 30, verse 18 to 19. Hallelujah. It says, so David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away, and David rescued his two wives, and nothing of theirs was lacking, either small or great, sons and daughters, spoils, or anything which they had taken from them David recovered all hallelujah yeah. we know for sure that in this chain of faith the enemy will always come to steal kill and destroy amen but we believe and we trust that as believers, as uh, uh, people that are anointed by God, when we stand in the gap and begin to call forth those things that the enemy has stolen, those things that the enemy has killed, those things that uh, the enemy has destroyed, as we begin to utter the words of power, those things will come alive. Hallelujah. Yeah. I want you to pray a prayer of recovering all. Amen recover all everything that the enemy has stolen from you recover all hallelujah let's go ahead and pray this morning mazulando jala mazua ambra kalado saliga ase handelika jekremeligo oskalanto rapala koja taide paligro onskimando razu Pala zu a teja rosa liga aska pala hande reketoja talizo opra ante kelibro on toja. We come before the presence of the mighty God as a church in unit recovering all that which the enemy has stolen, recovering all that which the, all the enemy has stolen. Oh my God, we are reviving everything that the enemy has killed in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ as we speak. With the words of power. 
Kawa, oh Paruso, Lazua, Taya, Lando, Paruke, Rakuja, Lanto, Reke, Toja, Supra Kataya. We are taking by force what has been stolen by the enemy. Oh my God, we are bringing it to life. What has been destroyed by the enemy this morning as we come before the presence of God, that the words that we are speaking are alive and are powerful with the ability to change some things, with the ability to destroy the works of the enemy with the ability to destroy every power of darkness razokata lakataya 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 lakata lakataya lakataya lakata lakataya lakataya lakata rokotoko toko lakata rakapala kutapala mande epeleke tu jala kato jataka taya takata takataya takataya takata takataya lakatu jakapa lakato parukata reketele keto palakatu Rakata lakata, 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 rakata Oh my God, we thank you, Jesus. Zoproza libra ante kaliba hando, darozo liga alika hande. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are still praying. Amen. Amen. At this moment, I would like to call uh, Minister Amelia to continue with the prayer points. Amen. Amen. Let's celebrate her as his, she's coming to the podium. Come on, somebody. So I'm gonna be, yeah. God, thank you, Jehovah. In, in that spirit of prayer, of recovering all, let us continue in that note. Amen. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that we are recovering everything, oh God. Father, you are faithful, Jehovah. You are true to your word, Mudimo Matla. We trust in you, Jehovah. We thank you, Jehovah Jireh. We thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. Bontando uskata la gabali ko bratele ko tababrika tomba ratolis ko pande kataya ibratole kaske balaka tomana akota barade katambe reta tous atomba rada irede de 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 rata la kata I shall recover oh I shall recover oh I shall recover oh imako pa kata gabaru kato gabaya lanto ko palaka tabayata ikapalo a pandendos katambeleta laboratelikos kapandendos atai borata lidu du du da da kataya rakado kabala katumanaka rupoto kataya kataya ratokos kapande katumana jalata rakajaka yagajuka lagabara gajalagada rekedeke lagajika lagada kayagada Rokotomba nakata, lako barotas ovanata, vilato tomash avanete, ilato kous kapande ndos atai, lato lika banai tons kapalata, eleka baros atoma, valute kasko panata, ilabara de kona manakata, abreka toma nakaya gadika, ibreka toba lika vade kataya, labares kota namande, iblaka toma nata, varota toto kap. Laka ilega baraka daka ya gada rete de 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 de
Jesus kapana bana dada da revele gede bela barada kata abrakata mana kayaga yaga daka yaga 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 Amen. Amen. We thank you, O oh God. We thank you, Jehovah, that we have thank been covered all God. in your name, O oh God. Bala, kata bala. Amen. Amen. Um, the spirit of prayer, I'd like to open, you guys to open John 14, verse 1. My one says, do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Amen. And then John 14, verse 6 says, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Amen. So I just want to say the, uh, my message would be believe in God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Believe in God because it does say in John 14 verse 1, do not let your heart be troubled. Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Oh, yes. Believe in God. That is my message for today. Believe in him even in your darkest hours. Even... Even in your good times, believe in God. He is the way, the truth, and life. John 14, 6 just said it. He will surely pull us out of the darkness. Whatever situation you are in, whether you are in a good situation, whether you are in a bad situation, continue to believe in God because he, has, he knows the path that you you. He knows the path that you have to walk. He has walked it before you. He knew you while you were still in your mother's womb. Trust in his promises. The word of God, Matthew 17, 20 says, faith as small as a mustard seed. That's all it takes to believe in him. That's all it takes to believe in his word and his promises. In this world and time, it is very hard not to let the heart be troubled by everything that is going around us. Everything thing might feel out of control and some days are, 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 are not good. You're having dark days, you're having light days. But then we need to realize if we focus on him and we are not moved by, by our circumstances or the, whatever is happening around us, just focusing on him and we believe in him, that we believe that he will turn, turn our situa situations around. I'm reminded that God came so that we can have life in abundance. And I will make reference to these scriptures, the children of Israel, the woman with the issue of blood, the blind man in the, the, the river of Bethesda. They waited on God. They waited on God. They kept on waiting. They believed in him. They never, they never stopped believing in him. So I want us, our prayer to be, God, help us to believe in you. Help us to wait on you. May we not rush. May we not rush your works, oh God, because you are faithful through your word. You are faithful through the ages. You stay the same. You, you, you are a God who does not change. I, I want us to focus on this and say, God, give us focus to believe in you that we, you, are sure, you will surely deliver us. You will surely make a way for us. We know we must believe in his promises. So when, may we focus on the good instead of the bad. May we focus our eyes on him, no matter what is happening around us, whatever situation we are going in, let us focus only on him. That, we have, that which was meant to drown us will not drown us if we focus our lives on him. I, let's put that, I want us to pray on that prayer point that we believe in God. Even, as, even in our darkest times, just like John 14, 1 says, believe in God. Let our hearts not be troubled, but let us believe in God. Amen. Let us pray on that. Redo <laughs> Lega Barus Atoa Rada da 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 da
Praise the Lord, somebody. Clap hands for Jesus. Amen. Clap hands for Jesus, Amen. somebody. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank Lift up those hands towards heaven. Let's just worship him. Tell him and how much you adore him. Worship him, telling him he's the king of kings. Father, you are the Lord of lords. You are the king of kings. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you all the adoration, my father. You are worthy to be worshipped. Father, you are holy. All holy, holy, holy chants go to you this morning, Father God. Yes, O oh Lord. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come come let your will be done in the mighty name of jesus christ we thank you jesus we you you are the lover of our lives father we thank you lord for the opportunity to pray and to fellowship with you we thank you for the opportunity to share the word of god with 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 many around the world oh god those who are watching online those who are here physically with us in the mighty name of jesus christ we give you praise honor and adoration and the saints of god said amen Give somebody a high five and take your seats. Hallelujah. I won't be before you long. I want you to open up your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19. I won't be before you long because time is fast spent. But I want to make sure that we are going to um, share the word of God a little bit before we go into a deeper Bible study as we always do on a Sunday morning. Hallelujah. I want you to turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor God will make a way. God has indeed made a way. God will make a way for us. God is the kind of God that makes um, a way in the wilderness and in the rivers and in the desert. Isaiah 43, 19 says that God is the ultimate way maker. He is the one who, who says, behold, I will do a new thing. Do you not perceive it? It will spring forth. Do you not perceive it? So we came here this morning expecting that God is going to do a new thing. Amen. Those of you online, I want you to tell you that distance is not a barrier, that you should know that God is going to make a way for you. That new thing that you have been expecting from God, God is going to make a way for you. He says, I will make a way in the wilderness and I will make a way in, um, I will make a way rivers in the desert. Hallelujah. I don't know how many of you have ever seen a river in the desert, but God is the kind of God that says, I will make rivers in the desert. I will make a way in the wilderness. Way, what is your wilderness? Your wilderness is your dark place. Your wilderness is a place where you are confused. Your wilderness is a place of your depression. Your wilderness is a place where you are just going around the same mountain and you're going around in circles. Tell your neighbor again, God will make a way for you. Hallelujah. You see, saints, it doesn't matter how much you have faltered or you have fallen, but God came through for the children of Israel. When you track through the Bible, we see that the children of Israel were not always obedient, but Every time that God had to come through for them, every time they had to fight their enemies, God made sure that they, he wins the battles for them. Amen, somebody. So I see a God, when I trace to the, through the Bible, I see a God who comes in and steps in all the time into impossible situations for many people. Is there somebody who knows that God can step in into your situation? Lift up your hands and, and just wave it to, to, to heaven. If you know that God has stepped in before for you, if God has done it for you before and you know he can do it again, hallelujah. So the same God that made a way for the children of Israel, he can make a way for us here on, on earth, hallelujah. Hebrews 13, 8 says he's the same yesterday, he's the same today, and he is the same forevermore. So he's not a God that is choosy, that is going to decide that he's going to do it for you, Mama Ntako, or he's going to do for you habit but he's going to do for all of us hallelujah he's the same yesterday he's the same today and he's the same forevermore hallelujah that gives me confidence that 
even though I might not see him in a particular situation that may be weighing me down, but I can choose to trust on God. Tell your neighbor, trust God. Hallelujah. Trust God in the wilderness. He promises to make rivers in the desert for you. Trust God that he's going to bring provision for you. Hallelujah. I have seen many a people testify that when they told me I was barren, I gave birth to a child. I've seen people build houses without money. I have seen people buy cars. Hallelujah. I've seen people come out of a car that was written off and they came out alive. Hallelujah. Who is that? It is a God that makes a way. Talk to me, somebody. I've seen people who buy cars that they, they thought they could not afford, but God made a way. Talk to me. I have seen people who have gotten jobs that they did not qualify for. They did not have the certifications for it, but God made a way. Can somebody shout it and preach it with me and say, God makes a way. God will make a way. He is a miracle worker. He's a promise keeper. He's a, he's a way maker. Hallelujah. He's a miracle worker. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, I, he who makes a way through the sea and a path through the mighty walls. I have seen, I've seen a God that makes a way through the mighty waters. The mighty waters are the sea. I don't know how many of you have ever gone to a sea or a Durban or Cape Town or wherever you are, but you see how vast the sea is. The Bible tells us that the sea split into two for the children of Israel to pass through. And when the Egyptians came behind them, when their enemies came, the Lord swallowed them up. He closed up. Hallelujah. So he is a choosy God in the sense that he chooses those who are intimate and who love him. Hallelujah. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. Hallelujah. Can somebody see it this morning? Somebody shout, God can make a way. Hallelujah. Look amongst the nations and see the wonder. Hallelujah. He says, look among the nations in Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 5. He says, See and wonder and be outstanding, for I'm doing a work in your days that you will not believe it if it was told. Amen. I hope you caught that scripture because I want to lay there a bit. Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 5, he says, you can look amongst the nations, you can see and wonder and be outstand, outstanded, for I'm doing a work in your days. There are some people when they pray, they pray for a God that will still come back to them in five months, six months, ten months, or a year. But he says, when he says, I will do it within your day, I will do a work in your days, that is meaning that he's going to satisfy you early. He's going to satisfy you in your youth. Hallelujah. He says the kind of things that he's going to do are the kind of things that you will not believe it even if somebody told you about it. Hallelujah, somebody. Hear, O Lord, when I cry, O Lord. Be gracious unto me, O God. Hallelujah. Somebody shout again, God will make a way. Hallelujah. You can turn to people and ask for help. Hallelujah. And those people will not open doors for you. But the Lord sent me this morning to remind you that even if those doors did not yield results, there are doors that I hold the keys for. And those are the doors that I'm giving you the keys for this morning. Talk to me, somebody. Many have been waiting upon the Lord and it seems like God is far away from them. I'm here to encourage somebody and tell you that God is making a way. He's not that far. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. A lot of people have been laboring hard and they're asking, when will my testimony manifest? I want you to tell yourself, God is making a way. Hallelujah. We will not rush God. God because we believe in a God of due season because everything is beautiful when he steps in and he makes it beautiful in his time. So today what I came to just share with you and just just to, to seal a prayer that says God is making a way. Hallelujah. When a God that makes a way steps in, he makes sure that you begin to possess your possessions. Am I talking to somebody? When a God that says, I'm a God that makes a way, he's, he's meaning that he's a God that when I step in, whatever is dead in your life will begin to resurrect. Hallelujah. He will resurrect your dreams. He will resurrect the things that you thought were dead. He will resurrect the relationships that you thought were dead. I don't know if it was your marriage, you thought it was finished, but God says, I'm a God that makes a way. Talk to me, somebody. I'm a God that will overturn and overturn, and that thing will be your turn. I will keep on overturning situations, and I will keep on overturning circumstances until it is your turn. Turn your name by, it is my turn, it is my time. It is my turn, it is my time. Hallelujah, somebody.
When God says, I am a way maker, he's meaning that I'm a God who covers you with my glory. I'm a God that will make sure that your hanging blessings are released this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I came here to declare to somebody that you will reap your harvest. Talk to me, somebody. I came to remind you that a way maker God is a God that makes sure that you will reap your harvest in due season. That God will bypass people and God will bypass every single person that you were relying on to make sure that your breakthrough is released. Can you shout a believing amen? Hallelujah. I am a God, I'm a way maker that will make sure that anything that has been hindering you from today on forward, it shall be crushed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am a God that is a way maker that will make sure that your weeping is timed for it to cease. Tell your neighbor weeping ceases now, right now, this moment in the name of Jesus. I am a way making God that will make sure that every single bondage, every chain that has been holding you back, it will scatter now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to the bondages and the chains that have been holding you back. I speak to the slave that has been eating their own chains. I declare and I decree that those bondages, those chains are broken now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He has sent me to remind you to write, do not remember the former things. Consider, do not consider the things of old. Do not consider the fact that you come from a poor background. Do not consider the fact that you do not have anything in your bank account right now. He says those things are old things. Those are old news. I don't know whether you came in into the church this morning empty-handed or whatever. He says do not consider the things of old. I am a God that does a new thing. Talk to me somebody. I am a God that says do not remember the former things of where you come from. Do not remember how he used to beat you. Do not remember how he used to be verbally abusive to you. Just look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. See the beauty that I'm bringing you. See the person that I'm bringing you into your space that will make life beautiful in its own season and its time. Your worst days are behind you. Talk to me, somebody. I am a way maker God. He says the worst days are behind you. Whatever the worst was, was that this day marks the end. Good days are ahead of you in the name of Jesus Christ. I said good things are ahead of you in the name of Jesus Christ. He says I'm doing a new thing, number one. Hallelujah. He says I'm making a way in the wilderness, number two. He says I'm making rivers in the desert, number three. God shall do a new thing. Talk to me, somebody. Mm. Some breakthroughs cannot wait anymore. If that breakthrough, that the way, however you had designed it, God says, I'm designing a new one. I'm doing a new thing. Talk to me, somebody. The enemy will not be able to hold your blessing anymore. I said the enemy will not be able to hold your blessing anymore. Your testimony shall no longer be hidden in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you shout that amen louder, I said your testimony shall not be held back anymore. Your breakthrough shall spring forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said your testimony shall spring forth in the name of Jesus Christ. He is making a way in the desert for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I see blessing and opportunity spring forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come against any spirit or any power or any principalities wherever they are gathered who want to snatch away your blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to that power, that darkness power, that dark agent, that satanic agent that has told themselves that they are going to snatch opportunity. I come against it right now. I scatter it, obliterate it in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to be annihilated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that you will move forward. I am doing a new thing. I am a way making God. Talk to me somebody. He says I'm a God that is able to conquer your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am a God that is able to declare the doors open. And when I open that door, no man can shut. It is my season to testify. It is my season for open doors. It is my season for me to find my way. He says I make the crooked ways straight. I am making the crooked ways straight. I am making the crooked ways straight. It is time for you to step forth and step up. He says step forth and step up. You're stepping forth. Your decision to move out of obliteration. So you're, 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 You've been in oblivion too long. You've been sitting at the back seat too long. He said step up and step forth. Step forth and step up. Talk to me somebody. Your stepping forth is your stepping up. I said somebody who should have shouted and, and jumped for joy there. He says, Lord, I'm stepping forth and I'm stepping up. Hallelujah. You should be even doing a prophetic walk and say, I am stepping forth and therefore I'm stepping up in the name of Jesus Christ. This is your season to receive your breakthrough. I don't know what you have been dreaming about. This is your season to break through. I see your dreams that have been in the spiritual realm. They are manifesting in the physical in the name of Jesus Christ. When God says, I'm a way making God, he's saying, I'm a God that is taking you out of the dry place. 
place. I am taking you out of a dangerous place. I am taking out of the hot place. I am taking you out of the harsh weather. I am bringing you into a beautiful weather. I am bringing into the summer of your life. I am bringing into the vacation of your life. Talk to me, somebody. Is somebody ready to take come out of the wilderness of their life? If you are ready to come out of the wilderness of your life, shout amen, somebody. Shout amen, somebody. You guys are playing with me today. Ah, child of God, you are coming out of the wilderness of your life. You are coming out of the wilderness of your life. It appears as if others are ahead and you are behind. It appears as if you are in a dry season. It is appearing like you've been struggling, but you have been achieving just small, small, little, little. It appears as if you are faced with life's dangers left, right, and center. It is up, but the Lord says it has been your place of training. It was just a season of training. It was a season of processing. Tell your neighbor, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I've seen the Bible take me through the men, different men and women in the Bible. I've seen God provide manna in the desert for Moses. Talk to me, somebody. I've seen God provide water out of the rock for Moses. Talk to me, somebody. I've seen David being lifted out of the desert into the throne life. He was taken from being a shepherd of sheep and he was taken, he was put on into the kingship and into the throne. I have seen him fetching Mephibosheth and putting him on the king's table. Talk to me, somebody. I've seen a way making God. Talk to me, somebody. I've seen Jesus' life being transformed, hallelujah, from being a son of a carpenter to being a famous person. He was nailed to the cross. He took all our sins and he died for our sins. I saw him die and I saw him resurrect. Talk to me, somebody. Ah, Kariaba Sonda, Kilaba Sonda. Luke chapter 4, verse 14 says, Jesus returned in the power of his spirit. Karobo Sonda, Diama Sonda. Can somebody see the Jesus that is entering the door right now? In the power of his spirit. The Bible says that he returned in the power of his spirit into Galilee and he went, fame just followed him. Hallelujah. Get ready to be famous. Slap your neighbor behind the shoulders and tell them, get ready to be famous. Come on, somebody. Get ready to be famous. Talk to me. Hallelujah. When the enemies have counted you out, they think that the, seg the, 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 the boxing match has finished. No, 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 no. It's not over until you tap out. I don't know how many of you watch wrestling. It's not over until you tap out. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to shout to somebody this morning and remind them and says rejoice not against me oh my enemy when I fall I shall rise when I fall I shall rise when I sit in darkness the Lord shall be a light unto me talk to me somebody I am not I am not finished I'm not done it is not the end it is not the end it is not the end when I fall I shall rise don't count me out thou has caused men to ride over our heads we went through the fire and through the water but you brought us out into a wealthy place let me prophesy this Psalm 66 verse 12 to you. He says, I am bringing you into a wealthy place. I am bringing you into a wealthy place. I decree that the next place you are going to is a wealthy place. Tell your neighbor you are going into the wealthy place. In the name of Jesus, you are stepping into your wealthy place. In the name of Jesus, whatever it is that you are going through in your life right now it is an indication that there is a greater level there is a bigger level there is a bigger place where you are going to talk to me somebody he says I'm the way the truth and the life hallelujah no one comes to the father except my me I am the way the truth and the life so if you have the way the truth and the life you have everything you need you have the way the truth and the life the way the truth and the life he says the thief came to kill steal and destroy but I came that I may give you life and life in abundance Abundance. That means overflowing quality, qualitative abundance. Ah, uh, I came to give you what? Life everlasting. Everlasting. Kashokotia. From everlasting to everlasting. Ha! He's a God who gives abundance. Hallelujah. Ah, 
are father God. He says, I'm a way maker. I'm a kind of God that when I make a way, I give you abundant life. Talk to me. Hallelujah. Somebody, God is going to remove obstacles from your life. I see all those roadblocks lifting from your life. Let's stand up on your feet quickly. Time is fast spent. Let's begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, for making a way for us. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I speak over these ones that have come together this morning. I speak to those of you who are on the broadcast online in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for removing obstacles. Thank you, Lord, for removing roadblocks. Thank you, Lord. We speak against the powers that have been obstructing our ways in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your time and season of remembrance has come. I said your time and remembrance has come. Your time and season of remembrance has come. Make sure you are shouting that amen louder. Your time and season for remembrance has come. When your time of remembrance has come, nobody can stop it. Nobody can stop it. In Jesus' mighty name. Listen to this. While you are standing, when your time and a season comes, nobody can argue with it. Hallelujah. When a pregnant woman is pregnant and it's time to get rid of that baby or to deliver that baby, regardless of her knowing the date and the time, regardless of her status, regardless of her location, when it's time, it's time. The water will break. Are we communicating? So I, I hear the Lord in the spirit realm says that those of you who have been pregnant and you are ready to give birth, this is your time and your season to give delivery. Hallelujah. God is a God that operates, he operates in seasons. There are seasons of life. There is a season for harvest number one. That is the season that, that, that we will reap what you have sowed. Ask your neighbor, what have you sown? Hallelujah. There is a season of possibility number two. That is the season of possibility it means that things become easy for you. Hallelujah. That is the season when you begin to see your veil of helpers being unveiled. Hallelujah. Your destiny helpers start to come forth. Hallelujah. You are operating under a different anointing. Tell your neighbor season of possibilities. Number three, there is a season of answered prayer. Hallelujah. You have been praying so much. You have been interceding. You have been waiting. You have been thinking, oh God, am I wasting my time? He says, no, 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 no. When your season of answered prayer, that is when you see God wasting your wasters. Somebody tell your neighbor, waste my wasters. Waste my wasters. Waste my wasters. In your season of answered prayer, you begin to receive blessings. Mama Amelia, you are going to receive your season of answers now. You are stepping in now. Your blessings are being released. There is something we call the season of visitation. Somebody, I'm giving you this point so that you can pray. When we are going to blast into prayer now, I want you to, I don't know which season you've been waiting for. I'm talking about seven seasons. I said the first one is what? The season of harvest, the season of possibility, the season of answered prayer. Prayer number four, the season of visitation, the season of celebration. You have been going to too many weddings, but when is your own coming? The Lord says, I must tell you, your own is coming. It is your season to celebrate. It is your season for enjoyment. You have postponed for too long. Hallelujah. There is a season of enjoyment. There is a season of favor. Habit. I see a cloud of favor over you. I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you now. Heaven will go ahead of you. From today onwards in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every gate that has been blocking your seasons. I command them to give you access now in the name of Jesus. They are giving you access now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus. Father, we are the righteousness of God. We stand before you this morning. Lord, we are righteous. We are soul winners. Oh God, we are addicted to your kingdom. We are addicted to, uh, we are givers. We are givers, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are here to continually praise you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, oh my God. Let the way open for me in the name of Jesus. I want you to shout these prayers for me and I'm going to just release you to go into the spirit. Say, my father, my father. Open a way for me in Jesus' name. I cut into pieces the bars of iron that have been caging my breakthrough in Jesus' name. Any power that does not want to see my joy, 
I cut you into pieces. In the name of Jesus. Any power that has been closing my door to success. Scatter in the name of Jesus. My closed doors of prosperity. Open by fire. Open by fire. In the name of Jesus. I command the doors of favor to open for me now. In the name of Jesus. I command the doors of breakthrough to open the way for me now. In the name of Jesus. Now begin to blast into the spirit. Call forth your season of favor. Call forth your season of breakthrough. Call forth your season of open door. Call forth your season of celebration. Call forth your season of answered prayer. Call forth your season of jubilation. Call forth your season of joy. Masotoko, Roshikanda Basondo Diama Sokote, Way Maker, Way Maker, Way Maker, Way Maker, Way in the Desert, Way Maker, Way Maker, begin to call your season of a job, begin to call your season of uplifting in the mighty name of Jesus. Karaba Sonda Karabayese, Rejege de 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 Masokoda, Razo do 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 Moseke Tekia, Lord, you did it for Moses, you did it for Abraham, Rasikonda Masoto Kodia. Masoto, Regigona Masoto, Code de 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 Rasikonda Mamo, Rasikola Masoto. Lord, you did it for Joseph. You can do it for me. In the name of Jesus. Karaba Sokota Kala Masikota. Rajegegegege Masokote. Ika Sata Tata Tata Kalobo Sokonde. In the name of Jesus. I want you to take up a birthing position. I know some of you men, you will not know. I want you to split your legs like this. Kasha, kata, katia. Are you ready to deliver? Zokoto koto kote. Rashiko da katia basota. Begin to push. Push. Shaka kaka kasoto koto ko. Rika soto koko koko sokote. Ikala bro soto konya masokote. Rishaka tata I give birth. I give birth. Anything that was dead, I give birth. Resurrect by fire. Shakoto totokota. Raseka tatataka. Lakosoto kota ketia masonda. Take back your possessions. Kasondo toko si katakadia. Take back kaka kasoko. Rosege geke maso. Likasonda dia masonda. Era baba baba. When people say no, God says yes. Rashiko la masoto korie beshe. La kasa takari abashe kete kala abashe. Rashika la masete ki abaso. Rashike la masete kete kete he ha ha. Rashike gaga gaba so. Rojiga la masete kete ki abashe. Rashom no no bosiko la basonda. Give birth. To your business, give birth to your business, give birth to your job, give birth to your promotion in the name of Jesus. Rakosondo Kola Mashokonda Kana Maya Sakata, Rika Sonda Kiyama Sonda, begin to release those ascetic prayers. Rosongo Nakiyama Dende Debe Shekelaba, Ikalaba Sode. Begin to take up the position of your military position. Begin to take up your fighting position. I want you to take your possession. Take up your possessions. Be in the military fighting position. Be ready to shoot your gun. Be ready to shoot and release. Father, contend with my contenders. Begin to torment my tormentors. Begin to waste my wasters. In the name of Jesus. I don't care whether you are my sibling. I don't care whether you are my parent. I am possessing my possessions. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I am reversing every single arrow of defeat, every single arrow of poverty, every single 
arrow of fear back to sender, back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command light, I command light, come through and expose them. Expose my enemies, oh God. Expose my enemies, oh God. Begin to shoot those spiritual bullets. Begin to send those bullets into that shrine. Begin to obliterate everyone on that altar of evil. The way maker is making a way for you. Begin to shoot that illness. Razagadobosu. Rosegede Yamasondo. Rasonda. Kill them before they kill you. Kill them before they kill you. Rasondo di Masota Kala Masote Kira Masonde. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, begin to thank God now. Father, we thank you. We are free. Every spiritual prison, you are out. Begin to congratulate yourself. Begin to congratulate yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, we thank you. Begin to congratulate yourself. Go and hug somebody. Clap hands for Jesus. Hug somebody and celebrate and tell them congratulations. Welcome to your new next season. Welcome to your new season. Welcome to your next level. Welcome to your moment of rising. Welcome to your stepping up. Zando konda bata kanda kida kanda kanda koda ba shekende. Father, we worship you. Father, we love you. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. You, we thank you, Jesus. You are worthy, O oh God. You are worthy, O oh God. Yes, so God, lift up those heavens and tell Him how much you love Him and how much you are grateful. What He has done for you. You are faithful, O oh God. You are faithful, oh God, every day and every hour, you are faithful, oh God, who tembegile, yes, who tembegile, yes, who Faithful, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody begin to praise God, begin to praise God, celebrate God in the name of Jesus, celebrate God, celebrate God, hallelujah. My God, celebrate God, tell God how awesome He is, tell God, in the name of Jesus. Tell God how faithful he is in the name of Jesus. 
tell God how awesome, how faithful, how awesome, how faithful, how awesome, how faithful, how awesome, how faithful he is. Come on, somebody, lift up your voice. Tell him, God, you are awesome. We love you. We love you. We thank you. We praise your name. We macrograph your name. You are God. You are the beginning and the end. You are the I am that I am. The one who was and he is and he is to come. We thank you, Father. We know, mighty God, the Bible says those that come to God must know that he is and he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Lord, we know beyond any doubt that our lives will be transformed. We know, mighty God, that we shall experience and see your mighty hand, your mighty power, and mighty God, you shall be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Let our lives be a testament of your name. Let our lives be a testament of your word. Let our lives showcase what, what is in you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, mighty God. In the name and the blood of Jesus, Amen. blessed and exalted be thy name. Maro de la Catala Baradaka, Pasca de Libara de Cataya, Colan de Cataya. We glorify your name as we honor you. We glorify your name as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are the Messiah. 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 We glorify your name as we honor. Glorify your name as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are the Messiah. You are wonderful. You are the Messiah. You You are the Messiah. You are wonderful. 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 You are wonderful. You are the Messiah. You are wonderful. You are the Messiah. You are wonderful. Messiah, you are wonderful. You are the Messiah. You are wonderful. You are the.
the Messiah. You are wonderful. You are the Messiah. You are wonderful. You are the Messiah. Somebody say Lord. Somebody say Lord. Somebody say Lord. Whatever entity that is contending with me. Father, as I lift up my voice, contend with my contenders. Whatever entity that is contending with me, as I am here today, contend with my contenders. Contend with my contenders. Contend with my contenders. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fight my battles and give me victory. Fight my battles and give me victory. Fight my battles and give me victory. Say fight my battles and give me victory. Lord, give me victory. Lord, give me victory. Lord, give me victory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. May God give you victory. I say, may God give you victory. Amen. May God give you victory. Amen. Over whatever battle you've been fighting in life, may God give you victory. Over whatever enemy that might have lifted and lifted their voice against your life, may God give you victory. Amen. Over whatever enemy that might have raised battles, waves against your life, may God give you victory. Amen. I said, may God give you victory. Amen. The Bible says, he who is born of God overcometh the world. May you appear as an overcomer. Amen. I said, whatever that wanted to overshadow you, may you overcome it. Amen. I said, may you overcome it. Amen. Whatever that wanted to bury you, may you overcome it. Amen. Whatever the enemy wanted to bring over your life, may you overcome. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say, I serve a miracle working God. I serve a miracle working God. Somebody say, I serve a miracle working God. I serve a miracle working God. Nothing makes sense until it becomes a revelation. Yes, sir. Nothing makes sense until it becomes a revelation. I hear, I hear. Hallelujah. Nothing makes sense until it becomes a revelation. Amen. That is why you realize that when people see you worship, they may not understand why you pray, why you worship. But there is a revelation that you have that makes you to do what you do. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. So a lot of people might not understand, but the day you find revelation, mm, hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. All right. Look at your neighbor and say, God is good. God is good. Look at your neighbor and say, God is good. Look at your neighbor and say, God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Today we are talking about the art of. Can you just make the speaker to look that direction so that. It Hallelujah. Today we are talking about the art of spiritual warfare. The art of spiritual warfare. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say the art of spiritual warfare. The art of spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. 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 So as we have been praying, I've been looking on where would I start. Most of the times when it comes to ministering, 
in as much as I might have a message, I'm not really looking forward to minister because God might take over and things might go the other direction. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when it comes to God, I'm not always in a place where I am rigid to say, this is what uh, I heard when I was praying. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you might understand you appear in an environment and there is somebody who God wants to touch in an emergency. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why the Bible says those that are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. Praise God. I know we are scripture people and someone say, where is it? When you read in Romans chapter number 8. Hallelujah. Those that are led by the spirit. Which means one has to be led. But for you to be led, someone who is to lead you, it means you need to have an ear to hear them. Am I communicating to somebody? There are two things you need to understand. A leader must have a voice and the one being led must have an ear. A leader must have a voice and the one who is being led must have an ear. And whenever you are in an environment where you are a leader and you don't have a voice, I always say that, I always say that, I always say that <laughs> it is a waste of voice for a musician to sing to a deaf audience. Jesus. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating with somebody here? So it concerns, as we are speaking about the art of spiritual warfare, that when it comes to your life, you might not, you must not only have the voice, but you must have a revelation that whatever you are to speak to has got to have an ear to listen when you say. You need to come to a place where you grow in dominion. You rise in dominion that your finances will have an ear when you speak. Yes. You need to grow to a place where you have dominion that whatsoever that God has predestined for you develops an ear to hear. Anything that is to be attracted to you, especially your prayers, there is a certain way that, number one, you must, somebody say, read them. In the spirit, there is no haphazard doing. There is a rhythm of the spirit. Am I going to get in somebody? Hallelujah. Look at the verse. There is a rhythm. Look at the verse. There is a rhythm. What 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 makes anything to 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 be attracted to sound? There has to be a rhythm to the sound. If you have ever been into music before or you have ever seen different kinds of music charts, you realize that music travels in what they call waves. And waves travel in what they call frequency. Am I communicating with somebody? Now, waves, you realize that waves are as what it is called waves. The shape of waves is like waves. And the shape of a frequency, it is different because it is like lines. Frequency, it depends with how much sound has been produced. So where there is more sound, the bars go up. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? So a lot of people, you realize that for you to get to a place where you reach to that level, you need to have mastery. You need to have mastery. Somebody say mastery. mastery. You can never be a, a, a principality in a field, in a faculty, in a, 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 an office, a profession you have no mastery over. So no matter how much you might be a believer, if you have not gone into a place where you master your environment, that when you look at your environment, your environment gets to a place where you control, you have control over it. Sometimes when you get to a place where you pray, it will seem as if your prayers are non-effective. But because you have not yet dominion over your environment, your environment is not obligated to listen to you. In the whole of the world, there is one city that 
witchcraft has mastered the dimensions of that city. And it's not in Africa. It's a place called London. Where witchcraft has been practiced, has been done, indoctrinated to a place that no matter how spiritual you are, when you get to be in that place, it's not about the noise of your prayer. It's about how much you've mastered spiritual warfare for you to penetrate and break through in that environment. Am I communicating with somebody? No, I say it's not in Africa. <laughs> Here in Africa, people have mastered prayer. <laughs> the moment they sense an atmosphere of witchcraft, they know what to do. Hallelujah. We, we are not yet teaching witchcraft in schools here. We are not yet having holidays of witchcraft here. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not yet putting demons in food. It's not yet common. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to understand that life is spiritual. And everything that has to do with life, there is nothing that is natural about it. Nothing is natural about it. When we were speaking last week, I opened us and I showed us that in as much as Abraham was building a generational inheritance, there were battles that were there. We spoke about the barrenness that was, that was in his lineage. Barrenness was following people all around his lineage. We spoke about the spirit of fear. Many people think spirits, think fear is just structured. The Bible says for he has not given us the spirit of fear. Fear is a spirit. Fear is a spirit. And like, I, like what I say that every spirit needs a conducive environment for it to dwell. Am I communicating to somebody? Yeah. So the enemy will make sure that there are things that happen in your life. And uh, um, in passing, I taught us about what I call the spiritual projects. We will dwell and get more into it. That since you are young, since the time you got born again, there is a project that the enemy set for your life. So some of the things, when you look at your life, you realize that certain battles look so familiar. The reason why they look so familiar is because by the time you are growing up, most of the things that happen in your life that look familiar were not familiar. You getting to a place where you are surrounded by uncles that will be smoking is not familiar. Getting to a place where your uncles are sending you to, to, to their girlfriends with letters is not familiar. It's not something that is strange. But what is happening, there are seeds being planted as you are growing. That there are things that you see as normal when you grow up. That might not be normal. Or that might be the very same thing that the devil knows that this is the thing that will kill him and make him to abort his destiny. The devil has no power, jurisdiction to destroy your destiny. But what the devil does is he makes projects and systems. And most of the times, he will make sure he brings necessary demonic materials that will enable you to destroy your own destiny. I can assuredly tell you that 80% of people that destroyed their lives, they did it with their own hands. The devil did not eat the fruit. The devil did not tell Eve to eat the fruit. The devil suggested. Did God say? He did not tell Eve to eat the fruit. He suggested. It was Eve who made the decision. When he came to Jesus, he did not say to Jesus, eat the bread. He says, change stones to bread. And when you read in the previous scripture, what does the Bible say? And Jesus was hungry. And he was coming from a 40 days fasting. So you see that the enemy is very wise. He knows that number one, you are feeling too much power from fasting. You know that you can do anything. Amen. And number two, you are very hungry. So change stones to bread. <laughs> if it was this generation, 
would have had a camera to say, come, let me, come and see what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to change stones to bread. But the greatest level of power is having it and knowing when to use it and where to use it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. First Samuel chapter number 17. First Samuel chapter number 17 verse 26. First Samuel 17 verse 26. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are there, shout I'm there. We will not wait for you. In destiny, it is not 10 by 10. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. All right, verse 26. And David spake to the men that stood by saying, What shall be done to the men that killed this Philistine and taketh away the reproach of Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistines that ye should defy the armies of the living God? Somebody say the armies of the living God. Somebody say the armies of the living God. One of the things that you begin to realize and see when it comes to life and the spirituality of life is that a lot of people, the reason why you see a lot of people not getting to a place where they are serious with their spiritual life is that they do not understand that there is nothing that happens without a correspondence action from the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We are touching on a story on the base of what happened between David and Goliath. Many people celebrate the victory of David, but they do not understand what was happening when David was fighting Goliath. Reading from where we read, you realize that the Bible tells us that David got to a place when he arrived. The first thing that David would say is, who is this uncircumcised Philistines? Who defiles the armies of God? Every situation a believer is to go through, one of the objectives of the enemy is to try to bring the name of God into reproach. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? The enemy would want to target the life of a believer so that in as much as you are a believer and people point you as a believer, but if your life is not in order, when people look at you, they will not get to a place where they will be attracted to the God that we worship. That is why you realize that many people will laugh at a pastor, will laugh at an intercessor. Why? Because they get to a place where they take your life uh, your, 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 your zeal, your, your prayer life, and they will put your life here. They will put a scale and say, if this is what your God can do, why should we follow your God? So the reason why believers must be so much rugged, the reason why even in, in the midst of believers there must be a, a, a certain level of economic commonwealth even among believers and empowering each other is the understanding that if believers are not empowered, it is to the upper end of the enemy. If the church does not rise to a place where they are, they have dominion over the environment. Remember the foundation of where we started. So no matter how much you might have a voice as a believer and you are declaring, you are shouting, and you are speaking, your environment as a believer might not listen to you. People might not come to the realization or, or your, your words might not have weight as a believer. Only because there are certain aspects of your life that many people look at. They might, they might say, but yes, you are a believer, but let your God do this first. In which the measurement of spirituality and grace is not about material things. But the world we live in has set a standard. And what we pray is grace so that when it comes to the children of God, that God might bless you. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs that God delights in the prosperity of the righteous. 
I decree over your life in the name and the blood of Jesus. May the power of the Lord lift you up and I decree may prosperity be your portion. I say may the hand of the Lord be upon every aspect of your life and may prosperity be seen in your life in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah somebody. I said hallelujah somebody. I said hallelujah somebody. Somebody say God is with me. Somebody say God is with me. Hallelujah. When you take your Bibles in verse number 43 of that same scripture, when you take your Bibles, you realize that they were at a place where David is fighting Goliath and they are standing there ready to fight each other. They are ready to fight each other. And while they are there, while they are ready to fight each other, The Bible says Goliath cursed David in the name of his gods. The fight of David and Goliath was not a physical fight. The fight of David and Goliath was a spiritual fight. The fight of Goliath and Israel was a spiritual fight. That is why from the beginning you hear, you hear David declaring and saying, who is it who defiles the armies of our God? Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So a lot of people in as much as God has raised you, lifted you, there is a leadership anointing over your life. In as much as there is a gifting over your life. But the enemy tries by all means to make us not have dominion spiritually so that our environment will not have, uh, will not give an audience when we command and when we decree. And this is one of the frustrations of many believers. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? So you realize that you can even come to a place where you are a parent. And in as much as you are trying to, you know, the Bible says, um, train up a child in a way that he should grow, that when he grows, he won't depart from it. And most of the times what the enemy will do, he will make sure that there are, you are in this place where there is no dominion around your environment. We look in the world, even parents are being disarmed. I believe there was a bill that was being set where uh, children will not become the property of the government. Whereby as a parent, you, you, you don't just rebuke a child or discipline a child in any way. And in such a way, you realize that it also in the spirit, because whatever happens in the physical, even in the spirit, there is a relation. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? If right now, come, let me show you something. If right now, maybe we are in church, and I will say to her, go and stand there. Right? Amen. And inside her, something says, no, I won't do it. Right? There might be something that might be pushing you to, to have that maybe... That, that resistance. Now, okay, God bless you, you can sit down. What will begin to happen is, even if the person who he had given here in instruction in the physical before, if that person begin to command in the spiritual, even the declaration, if it is, it, if it, if it is about something in her life that has to be sorted, that declaration may not have effect over her life. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Because there is a correlation between the spirit and the physical. So if she was not able to listen to maybe Pastor Fortune's voice when she was given an instruction, it will be the same when a declaration is put over her life. I don't know if someone is understanding something here. So that is what is happening to a lot of people. 
And that is the battle we now have, especially in our times. Battle of dominion over your environment. Praise God. Amen. Praise God, somebody. Amen. Praise God, somebody. Amen. Somebody say, battle of, battle of dominion over my environment. Over my environment. Battle, of battle of dominion over my environment. Over my environment. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. When you read your Bible in 1 Samuel chapter number 17, verse 46, David says it this way. David says, This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee. And take thine head, and I will give the suckers to the hosts of the Philistines. To the hosts of the what? To the hosts of the Philistines. And the fowls of the air, and the beasts, uh, and the wild beasts of the earth, and that all the earth will know that there is a God in Israel. Did you see what David is saying here? I'll give your carcasses to the what to the host of the Philistines. When you are hearing the word hosts, he's talking about the principality and the spirits. David is saying, I will kill you, but after I kill you, I will showcase your body to the host of the Philistines. It was not a physical battle. Whatever we were to see when David was to take a sling, that was a physical action, but there was much happening in the spirit. And David spoke a statement at the end of this scripture. He says, the whole earth will know that there is a God in Israel. We are in a battle of dominion. The battle we are fighting is a battle of dominion. It is a battle of dominion. Where the devil wants to have authority over your environment. And you also have to have authority over your environment that your environment might have an ear and audience when you decree and declare. Nothing is as, nothing, nothing is as catastrophic as praying. And seeing that as you are praying, you are, not have, you are not having dominion over your environment. Because everything on this earth has a voice and has an ear. Jesus said, you shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cut into the sea. What was Jesus saying? That even mountains has ears. And if you can declare, it can come to pass. He says to Peter, go into the, the go into the deep, put your net. And the Bible says, when you put the, 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 the fish, the, the net, fish started running into the net. He was trying to say, even resources and every living thing have an ear. It means if there is a believer who has mastered dominion over their environment, the greatest resource you can ever have is having a voice. So every leader must have a voice and those that listen, those that follow must have an ear. So as God has given you authority and a blessing, be fruitful, multiply, have dominion, subdue, and have authority. It means everything around you must have an ear to listen to you. Amen. Your cry after today is God, let everything around me have an ear that when I speak, there is a reaction. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Do you know that when we talk about cases, there is a scripture I read in the Bible, the, the day when Jacob was blessed and Esau's blessing was taken. What is strange about that portion of scripture is that the Bible says Esau came to the father and do you know that Esau cried and said, do you not even have only one blessing left for me? Mm -hmm. 
I once preached on, on, on a message on that scripture. Only one blessing. He was no longer crying about everything else. I only need one. People, 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 when you read your Bible, especially from the people of the old, you understand how important the blessing is. You understand how important the blessing is. Just the word God bless you. You understand how important it is. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Do you know that when Jacob took the blessing, do you know what the father, do you know what was said to Esau? Do you know what was said to Esau? Genesis 27 verse 40. I want to show you something. Genesis chapter 27 verse 40. Praise God. Amen. All right. Genesis 27 verse 40. And by the sword thou shalt live. Remember, he's crying for a blessing. Thou shalt live, and thou shalt save thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke off your neck. The father is saying, I have blessed your brother with blessings already. And the blessing of the firstborn shall already operate on this young man, Jacob. But there is a way you can reverse the matter. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The father is saying, yes, your, 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 your purpose, your blessing was taken by manipulation. But there is a way you can reverse It does not matter what situation you are in. There is a way you can reverse that matter. Amen. The Bible says it shall come to pass when you shall have what? Dominion. Do you know that by the time Jacob came back to Israel, the Bible says Jacob sent sheep and cows in front. When he arrived where Israel was, there is something that Israel said. Israel said to Jacob, I have more than enough. <laughs> the man who was not given a blessing somewhere somehow in his toiling got hold of dominion and he break the yoke from the brother I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit may God give you dominion in Jesus name may God give you dominion in Jesus name may God give you dominion in Jesus name whatever yoke that was put over your neck whatever yoke that is limiting your life whatever yoke that has been tying your family whatever yoke that has been tying people from where you are coming from by the reason of dominion I decree may the yoke be broken I say may the yoke be broken I say may the yoke be broken in Jesus name so life is very spiritual. You need to understand the art of fighting spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I need, I need dominion. Say, my environment, my environment. and everything around me Amen. develop a hearing ear Amen. that when I declare, Amen. you shall respond. respond. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. So as a believer, you need to get to that place where you grow. As a believer, you need to get to that place where you ascend. As a believer, you need to get to that place where you grow in the things of the spirit. Now, when you read your Bible, you realize that David understood the aspect of fighting in the spirit. David had gone into a place where he has understood how to master uh, uh, the art of, uh, of spiritual warfare. And his dependence was no longer physical things, but he now depends dependent on spiritual things. He now depended on the power of God. That every battle he was to fight, it was no longer about his knowledge. It was no longer about his weapon. He was now fighting with the knowledge of God being on his side. 
Apostle Paul says, if God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for us, who can be against us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you read your Bible in the book of Psalms chapter 125, the Bible says, those that trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. They shall not be moved. Those that trust in the Lord, Psalms 125, those that trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. They shall not be moved. Say, my father and my maker, my and my maker. I decree and I declare, yes. I trust in you. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. From my blessing, I shall not be moved. From my breakthrough, I shall not be moved. From my faith, I shall not be moved. I shall not be shaken in the name of Jesus. The art of growing that should not be moved. Do you know when Paul was giving his last instruction of spiritual warfare in the book of Ephesians 6, he says, finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord. It is your responsibility to be strong in the Lord. You know, there are certain prayers that people pray I always look at certain it's it 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 certain prayer prayer declarations that people will put on on the morning prayer. And sometimes when I look at them I'm like oh Jesus we still need we still have a way. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh Lord help me to be strong. I'm like the prayer point that is being led and what a person is 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 saying is are different things. I hear what I'm saying. I hear what I'm saying. I hear what I'm saying. While these prayer points are being led, someone is coming with their own prayer point on the bottom. <laughs> they say, hey, the comment section is on fire. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, oh Lord, give me ability to read the word. Say, ah, <laughs> you are the one to take the Bible. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Praise God. You, those that trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. They shall not be moved. It is a prayer on itself. I trust in you, God. May I not be moved. From the blessing, from my faith, from my trust in you, may I not be moved. This kind of a prayer, it's a prayer that even when you get to a place where th there are people that want to shake you at your workplace, you just take the prayer, you use it as a weapon. Those that trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. I shall not be moved. Try to fight a mountain, you will hurt yourself. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? If you read your Bible in the book of Psalms, chapter number 20, verse 7. In Psalms 20, verse 7, David says, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but I trust in the name of the Lord. Amen. I trust in the name of the Lord. Amen. David understood that every war, every battle he was to fight, it was not about him. He understood that every war, every battle he was to fight, it was not his weapons that would give him victory. It was going to be the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Say, God will fight for me. God will fight for me. Say, God will fight for me. God will fight for me. There is a scripture I love in the book of Exodus, chapter number 15, verse 3. Bible says God is, the, is a man of war. Amen. You know, when you get to a place where you begin to understand God as your father and understand God as God, there are certain matters you will know not to waste time. Being a child of God must make you to understand the art of spiritual warfare. There are battles that are given jurisdiction over you that you know that these battles you are fighting. But there are battles that you have to hand them over. Otherwise, you might end up hating yourself fighting certain battles. 
There are certain battles you are invited to as a trap to destroy you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are certain battles you are invited to as a battle to what? To destroy you. <laughs> do you know the reason why Apostle Paul speaks and says, do not be hasty in laying hands? You need to descend first. Because there are certain people that will come. I remember, I, I, I remember why we were being taught about, um, ab about deliverance. So, and every Friday we do all night and after prayer, people are being prayed for. Then there was a room where people would be thrown. Pray for people. And one of the things that you'll be warned is the reason why you should be prayerful is that if there is a weakness from your family bloodline and the person you are doing deliverance has a demon that is affected the life at that point and you are casting it out. You have to get to a place where you have understood that the reason why you should be fasting and praying that you have spiritual authority. Why? Because it's not only about you saying come out. That's why it's called warfare. You are fighting to deliver a person. So you can never fight a person who is not fighting back. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? You can never fight spirits and they do not what? Fight back. That's why when Jesus was going to Genesaret, the Bible says while he was going there, the spirits knew. Because obviously they discussed that we are going to Genesaret. Hallelujah. The spirits knew. And while they were going to Genesaret, the Bible said there was a storm that rose in the sea. So imagine Jesus being the creator and storms is risen in the sea and he died. In as much as he has a voice and the sea did not even hear, they would have sunk in the sea. I pray, may God give your voice dominion over your finances. May God give your voice dominion over your properties. May God give your voice dominion over your health. May God give yourself dominion over your prayer life. May God give your voice dominion. Amen. There is a point God gets to give you authority. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Those that trust in the Lord, they shall not be put to shame. If you read your Bible, you realize that Elijah understood this. Jezebel, he had conquered the whole land of Israel. That all of them were now worshipping Baal. She took over. She was a queen. She made the whole of Israel to worship Baal. And she had taken over even the, what? the economy. When Elijah came, Elijah said, today we shall know who is God. Let us go to Mount Carmel. The God whose God shall answer by fire. Praise God. First Kings 18. Says the God whose God shall answer by fire. It was not a battle of the prophets. It was a spiritual battle. It was a spiritual battle. It was a spiritual battle. When you read your Bible in Gideon, in, 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 in Judges chapter number 6, verse 27, when God, imagine, when God was to lift Gideon, after a prophecy is released, Gideon, you are a mighty man of valor. It did not end there. Imagine a prophetic word that is to affect the life of Gideon. God still says, Gideon, the prophecy has been released. You are a mighty man. But wake up at midnight. Go and destroy the altar of your father. That in as much as you are carrying a prophetic word, Gideon, there is still a spiritual battle to be fought. If the altar of your father is not destroyed, this prophetic word might be fought. This prophetic word might be aborted. And it was in Gideon getting to a place where he began to understand the art of spiritual warfare. 
That yes, I know I'm carrying greatness. Hear me. I know that the Lord has told me words, visions. But the reason why I'm fighting it is because there is something that has to be dealt with spiritually. If I don't deal with it, there will continuously be delay. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. This is the reason why people rise to spiritual warfare. This is the reason. If he did not destroy that altar, I believe even if he had gone to war, he was going to be defeated. He was going to be defeated. It was not only the altar, the father was the priest of the altar. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. Any altar that might be active in your family, may God give you strength to destroy it in the name of Jesus. Any altar that might be active in your household, may God give you strength to destroy it in Jesus' name. Any financial altar that has held people's finances, may God give you dominion to overcome it in Jesus' name. Any altar that has been fighting marriages in your household, may God give you authority to overcome it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus comes as a son of God. As a son of God in John chapter number 1 verse 46. They introduce him and someone says, can anything good come out of Nazareth? He is a son of God. But in as much as he is a son of God, someone says, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Can anything good come out of Nazareth? I'm talking about a son of God. They say, if he's born in this place, never. God had to fight for Jesus. That by the time Jesus was born, every maternity ward in Nazareth was full. That he had to be born in Bethlehem. So there has to be an art of spiritual warfare that one has to understand. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I was talking to someone and they were saying, they, they were saying, me, I'm no longer driving my cars back to the village because every time I drive it there, <laughs> it gets broken. There is wisdom that one has to learn when you have to fight spiritual warfare. Hallelujah. There are certain places God will make you to avoid. Not because you are not spiritual, but because you are not yet grown to a capacity that you can deal with it at that age. Yes, at an older age, Jesus can deal with Nazareth. But at birth, you would not have dealt with Nazareth. Because what was going to happen, he was going to be born in Nazareth. And they were going to, that umbilical cord when it's cut, it was going to be put in the land of Nazareth. And that was going to be his downfall. I pray that may God fight for you. I pray that may the Lord give you strength to overcome. Whatever battle you've been facing, I decree and I declare in Jesus' mighty name, may God give you strength. May God give you strength. Like David says, arise, O God, and let your enemies be scattered. I pray, may God arise and fight your battles. May God arise and fight your battles. May God arise and fight your battles. I decree and I declare by the power of the resurrected Christ, whatever yoke that was tying your hands, may that yoke be destroyed in Jesus' name. May that yoke be destroyed in Jesus' name. May that yoke be destroyed in Jesus' name. By the power of the resurrected Christ, I decree and I declare by the power of the resurrected Christ, may God open your eyes to possibilities and to what he has bestowed over your life. May God open Open your eyes to see what is freely given to you in life and destiny. In the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. May your ears be opened that you may hear him attentively. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. This week may you prosper and may you see increase. This week may you prosper and may you see increase. Those that rise to fight for you, may the Lord embarrass them in Jesus' name. I say those that rise to fight for you, may God embarrass them in Jesus' name. 
I say, may God embarrass them in Jesus' name. I say, may God embarrass them in Jesus' name. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that whatever trap that was set against your life, may the Lord make you escape the snare of the fowler. May the Lord God make you escape the snare of the fowler. You shall rise. You shall rise. Like an eagle, you shall fly. I decree, you trust in the Lord, you shall not be weary. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. All right, we are going to read this scripture uh, as our declaration of this week. Praise God. Amen. Let us go to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter number 20, verse um, 11. Someone can read for us. Jeremiah 20, verse 11. 20, verse 11. reads as follows but the lord is with me as a dread warrior but the lord is with me as a dread warrior is a dread warrior not just a warrior a dread warrior uh-huh. therefore my persecutors will stumble therefore my persecutors will stumble they will not overcome me they will not overcome me they will be greatly ashamed they will be greatly ashamed for they will not succeed. For they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor. Their di- internal what? Dishonor. Dishonor. Will never be forgotten. Will never be forgotten. Amen. Amen. The Lord is with me like a what? A dread warrior. I pray may God fight for your battles like a warrior. Amen. I say may God fight your financial battles like a warrior. Amen. May God fight your marital battles like a warrior. Amen. May God fight your health battles like a warrior. Amen. May God fight your career battles like a warrior. Amen. Those that persecute you, may they stumble and fall. Amen. And then may they stumble and fall. Amen. Whatever spirit that might be persecuting you, may they stumble and fall. Amen. May they be put to shame. 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 Amen. Scripture says that they will not succeed. Amen. I do not know what the enemy is planning against you. I do not know what the enemy is planning against your family. I do not know what the enemy is planning against your career and your they business. The Bible says they will not succeed. Amen. They will not succeed. Amen. They will not succeed. Amen. I decree you shall rise and succeed. Amen. You shall rise and succeed. Amen. You shall rise and succeed. Amen. Where doors were closed, I command them to open. Amen. I command them to open. Amen. I command them to open. Amen. What they said you cannot do, may it be a prophetic word for you doing it. Amen. I said, may it be a prophetic word for you doing it. Amen. May the Lord give you a supernatural ability to do things that are beyond your natural ability. May God give you supernatural ability to do things that are beyond your natural ability. Amen. There is a prayer that has been boiling in me for some weeks, for, for, some, for, 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 for a week now since we started fasting. What changes a man's life is when God brings people around your life, people that are ready to hold your hand and take you to the next level. People that are ready to introduce you even to what they do and take you to the next level. I want you to decree this declaration. God, send me people that will hold my hand and change my life. God, send me people that will hold my hand and change my life. Father, send me people that will hold my hand and change my life. Send me influential people that will hold my hand and change my life. Change me business people that will hold my hand and change my life. Send me great men that will hold my hand and change my life. Send me financial helpers that will hold my hand and change my life. Change me friends that will hold my hand and change my life. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare 
so shall it be in your life. People that shall come in your life shall be hopeful people. People that shall come in your life shall add value into your life. People that are coming in your life shall come, they shall see your potential and they shall they shall help you grow to a place where you shall see yourself grow. People that are coming into your life shall identify what you carry and they shall make sure you shall operate and manifest your maximum potential. I decree and I declare people that shall come to your life shall not be people that shall see a small potential and compete with you, but they shall be people that they went to see your small potential. They shall announce your name to people that can change your life. I decree and I declare may God send you people that will announce your name to people that will change your life. May God send you people that will like you, love you, and they shall announce your name to offices, boardrooms, that your name and your life shall be turned around. May the Lord God in this week we are entering, may God give you an uncommon favor that way you are not. May your name be mentioned for the good. I said, may your name be mentioned for the good. I decree and I declare jobs you did not apply, may they be put into your hands by the power of the Holy Ghost. Opportunities you did not seek for, may they come into your hands in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. The small you have, may God multiply it. The small you have, may God multiply it. May the devourer be rebuilt for your sake. May the devourer be rebuked to your sake. I decree and I declare the kanka worm, it is bound now. The palma worm, it is bound now. The locust, it is bound now. May the Lord restore everything that was taken from you. May the Lord restore everything that was stolen from you. May the Lord restore whatever the enemy has stolen from you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you. We bless your name in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. May your name be exalted. May your name be glorified. Thank you, Mary God, that may our environment have an ear. May our finances have an ear. Amen. Our properties may they have an ear. Amen. Our potentials and destiny, may our destinies have an ear that when we speak into our destinies, they will hear and respond. Amen. Father, we pray that may everything around us develop an ear in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. Amen. That every prayer, every declaration shall not bounce back, but there shall be a response by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank we thank you, mighty God, because not only are we growing in the spirit, but we are growing in dominion. Amen. Mighty God, make us to escape from the snares of the enemy. Make us to escape from the snares of the enemy. In the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, mighty Father, because you are God. Mighty God, you are sending people that will see our giftings, potentials, talents, capacities, and capabilities. And they shall make sure that our lives change. In the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. May the spirit of excellence that was on Daniel be upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. May the spirit of excellence that dwelt on Daniel be upon us. Amen. Promotions from small potentials. Amen. Profits from small potentials. Amen. In the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. Amen. Even in places where we are not favored, may we be promoted. Amen. May we be promoted. Amen. May we be promoted. May we be promoted. May grace speak for us in Jesus' name. May grace speak for us in Jesus' name. May grace speak for us in Jesus' name. May angels appear. May angels appear. May angels appear. May angels appear and unlock doors that were locked. May angels appear and unlock doors that were locked. Amen. Your Bible says that kings shall come to the shining of your light. Whatever gate kings are supposed to come in from, that was locked. I command it to be open. Amen. I command it to be open. Amen. I command it to be open. Amen. Your Bible says your sons and daughters shall come from the east, from afar. They shall come with their gold. The gate they are supposed to enter with, that was locked. May it be opened. Amen. I command that door to be opened. Career-wise, may that gate and door be opened. Marital wise, may that gate and door be opened. Ministerial wise, may that gate and
gate and door be opened. Financial watch, may that gate and door be opened. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, because you are God. Testimonies upon testimonies are our portion. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Somebody celebrate God in Jesus' thank name. Glory Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We thank you, mighty God. That is, we have spoken your word. May your word be a seed. May it germinate and produce results. And may they eat the fruits of your word and the fruits of their labor. Lord, I decree that you are rising each and every individual under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mighty God, I pray that in their respective callings, giftings, potentials, talents, workplaces, academical qualification, I pray, mighty God, may they begin to expand and grow like never before. Amen. Mighty God, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost that limitation has been broken. They are rising beyond whatever limitation that was set. We break the ice. We break the limitation. We break the ice. We break the limitation. Amen. Your Bible says that no eye has seen, no ears heard what the Lord is about to do to them that love him. Lord, I pray in the name and the blood of Jesus. What you are about to do in their lives, no eye has seen. What you are about to do in their lives, no ear has heard. I pray that things they never imagined, life that they never imagined they will live, things they never imagined they will handle, may the door be opened from this moment. May they begin to experience life by grace and life by favor. May they begin to experience life by grace and life by favor. In the name and the blood of Jesus, those that they never thought in their lives they would enter, places they never thought in their lives they would be, may they begin to experience it by grace and by favor. By grace and by favor. By grace and by favor. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Thank you Mary God, that it is beginning now. Amen. It is beginning now. Amen. It is beginning now. Amen. Angels on assignment. May activities start to happen this moment. Thank you, doors are opening up. Activities, angelic activities are happening this moment Amen. now. Mighty God, I pray that whatsoever whatsoever person in this place who had sleeping angels, I command them to awaken now. All you sleeping angels, awaken now. Awaken now. Awaken now. All you weak angels, receive strength now. Receive strength now. Receive strength now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Father, in Jesus' name. God bless Hallelujah. you. And Father, we thank you to everybody who's giving this afternoon, I speak a blessing, the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and adds no sorrow. I pray that the devourer is rebuked for their sake. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for wiping away tears. Thank you, mighty God, for giving direction and bringing direction to your children. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, amen. Celebrate God. May God bless you. May God be with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What a word, what a word. Amen. We believe that uh, this word that has been preached here will revolutionize somebody's believing system. Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. So this is our time that we give in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We can come forth and uh, give. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's stretch up forth our hands and bless the offering. Father God, we thank you for every party that has given today in the name of Jesus. As you have promised that there is a blessing to everyone who gives, so shall it be, for it cannot be otherwise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. Let's stand on our feet as uh, we are closing our service.
Father God, we thank you for this service. We thank you for the word that has been preached in here. We believe and we trust that it's going to be a seed to somebody. As we are closing this service, we know for sure that you are with us and we know that we are being refreshed in our spirit. In Jesus' name, amen, somebody. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. 